Hey everybody, I'm back. I had a big lunch. I got, like my brain is gonna be better than it's ever been before. I'm so ready. We're not gonna make all the stupid mistakes we probably made yesterday that I can't recall. But I recorded three videos yesterday. I guess you needed to know that. Let me be a, how about a sour sardine? That's perfect. I got the bubbly burps, but you know what? Everyone tells you to stay hydrated. What they don't tell you is that if you drink water too fast, you gotta go to the bathroom a lot. That can be distracting. That can distract from your train of thought in Super Auto Pets, which can actually work to your detriment, okay? That's why I like a little bit of a spicy water, like a pineapple bubbly, for example, because you're self-limited at the speed at which you can actually consume the water because it's too spicy. It hurts your throat a little bit if you drink too much. As a result, you, you maintain proper fluid balance throughout the day. Just a little pro tip from me to you. You know what? I think you're good enough. I don't know how I'm going to use you. I don't really want a level 2 Marmoset, is the thing. I don't really want, like, a lot of what's going on here, to be honest. But I think for now, freeze a pill. We probably should have frozen it earlier. We basically have a half-decent unit that, for one gold, turns into chocolate. That There's some solidity there. There's some positivity. It's a beautiful two-for-one trade into a two-for-one trade into we're feeling pretty good. Now, the marmosets can go at any time. They don't have to go at any time, but they could go. None of these units are valid. Valid? Okay. We may kill you to level up the Marmoset just to get a level. I would rather not have to, <laughs> okay? And it doesn't seem like we will have to. Now I'm just gonna level with you. Would I rather, you know what? I would much rather have a level two seahorse now that I think about it than a level two Marmoset. Although, it's much more expensive to get that level two seahorse now that I think about it. Obviously, the level 2 Marmoset is not, like, a, a huge advantage for us. What a what a, a coup you've achieved here. All that work. Just to lose. In time, what's the Thanos monologue? Fun isn't something one considers when bringing balance to the universe, but this does bring a smile to my face. So I, I'm gonna go Marmoset for the level. How about a, a cheeky little Lynx? who will do some sniping for us. And then, two more damage. That doesn't seem like the best use of our resources here. But you being gone, and you coming out here to possibly get killed later, and we've got nothing else to do with it, sure, take it, okay, 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 okay. I'm, we're doing okay right now, but the, the team itself is not very good. Like, it, it has very limited future prospects, to put it extremely politely. Also, it's going to lose this round. <laughs> so we, we need to find a way out. And maybe the Lynx is the first part of the, the building block there. Um, I certainly don't mind this. And I certainly don't mind this for at least a second. I don't see a pill. A croissant? I don't think so. None of this appeals to me in the slightest. Uh, the Blobfish is going to level up. Now, that is an interesting situation. The moth is also going to hit level th level three. Okay, okay. So how do we work with this information? Let me tell you something you could probably suss out for yourself. I have no idea whatsoever. <laughs> <clears throat> On the other hand, we live again, so there is that. Let's start here. You know, what about... Moth that goes first and buffs a lion. So it gives the lion. No, 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 no. That's not that bad, but hold on. Because a blobfish that gets pilled to create a level two lion. And then even if it doesn't get the plus nine attack that then gets doubled, I, I'm not going to sweat that uh, that much. I mean, this is like. It, this is a dream come true for me. So you're at three, one, one. Okay. You come here. You come here. You, we need a pill for you, of course. Freeze me, freeze me. You're gone. There's our pill. But I don't want it just yet. 
Not just yet. I think, honestly, we should set it... No, 7 HP. No, because you're going to have 9 HP. Okay. For now, we need the lynx first. And the reason we need the lynx first is because the cow would cause us to override the sleeping pill. So we're, we're in the mix a little bit. This is a bit of a confusing run, but just work with me here. Oh no, your peacock's dead. <laughs> I promise you, my concern was merely adopted to rub in salt to the wound. Now, you get pilled. All of a sudden, you are a 2020. But you're going to be even better than a 2020. You're gone. You know what? You're only level four. Thank God. Okay. This is great. So what's the plan? Well, we're going to level up the Lynx next turn, um, which I was going to do with the Crow anyway. I don't know. For now, the Crow kind of sticks on the squad, as, as confusing as that may be. How is this so good? This wasn't even what I intended to do, but I love it. Um, the turtle to give the lion some melon armor, we, we absolutely respect it. Just keep in mind, you can't take anything that's a tier 5 or above. But to be honest with you, if I could be honest with you, let's do this to ensure that the lion at least still gets the buff. And then I would... I, I would be happier buying an apple, honestly, than just adding a cricket to the squad. I think it, it, it's not a great situation, but buying a cricket just to sell it back later doesn't interest me that much. I think we got an amazing thing going here. My lion is so much better than every unit that it comes up against. And what are we on? We're on eight wins. Okay. Getting a little weird with it and loving every second of it. Obviously, we could add a buffalo, but but why? <laughs> I, but why am I adding another crow? That's another fantastic question, quite frankly. I don't really know. I guess we could create a level 3 lion pretty easily here. And a level 3 lynx, maybe? I don't know. This is crazy, man. I don't know what to think of this situation. Two lynxes? Big whoop. Okay, slightly bigger whoop. However, how we still... This, this squad is cracked. This crew is good. This is way different than I thought we would build a 10-win team. And for now, I mean, for the badge, for the meme... Maybe you don't get badges on the weekly, but for the meme, you gotta check out a, a, level, a level 3 links on this squad, man. Go ahead. See if I care. I don't, I don't care! I'm stunned at how well that worked. Look at that. That was just a beautiful run front to back. My god, 10 wins on turn 11. What a beautiful thing. The, the moth into the lion experience pilled. That was Kaiser Elegante. Now, how about a seahorse and an iguana? The thing with the, an iguana is that it's like, let's be an, a disgruntled investor. An iguana is like the most satisfying trigger to see pop. It's just so satisfying when it actually does something for you. We draw this and that's okay. Straight up, dude, I would love to add one more seahorse. I, I would add an iguana and a seahorse. Seahorse, seahorse. You're going to seahorse me. You know what? I'm going to fish for a seahorse. Okay. I'm going to be content with the iguana situation. And uh, <laughs> I know it seems insane to have the whole shop frozen. But we could, I honestly think we could kill, with two seahorses, a level two and a level one iguana, I think we could kill like two units right at the start of battle. Now, whether or not that's going to lead to success is a question that remains to be seen. However... It's very funny. So for now, I don't really need two level. Well, I, I do if I want to save some space later. Two units will get hit for four damage right now. You know what? I'm going to go insano mode. I'm going pure insano mode, and I'm not uh, scared who knows it. I think we're going to kill two of our opponent's units on turn zero here. There's one. There's two. Get torched. Now, there's a reasonably good chance we would still lose 
the battle, to be honest with you. Except, get sniped. Okay, so we still, we need a little more. Don't get me wrong, but level me. Don't really care for you. We need a unit that can do something. Say what you will about a peacock. It can do something. That's that's an efficient unit, especially maybe we get a leech going at some point. Two units dead? No, two units wounded. One unit dead, one unit wounded. We draw these. Okay, not as good as I would have thought. But now we have a great transition lined up because we can just go straight into a level three uh, iguana if we want to. Do I want to? Sure, why not? Let's see what we get. A rooster. Honestly, I think a rooster could kind of go hard. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna combine this. I really want to get a blobfish out there. It did so well for us last time. What about a, an insane iguana? So two units will get hit for five damage. That's a very efficient unit. I mean, I know we could go level two peacock as well, but we're kind of we're missing that leech scaler right now. Get sniped. Keep in mind, this is also like we're creating a minimum threshold of viability for our uh, iguana. If they have units that they spawn, we do even better. So I, you getting a croissant just makes sense. For now, I know how this looks, but just... We, we've made our iguana worse temporarily. Okay, 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 okay. You have to get pilled next turn, and then we have to get a leech out there. I think we, I, <sighs> wait a turn, wait a turn. It hurts to have to wait, but it's the right play. Then we can get that level two peacock, so every leech hit will, do, will do double the attack that it was previously supposed to do. Two units are getting killed, three units. No, because we only have one seahorse, Never mind. Never mind. Holy cow, that's gonna blow me out. Now that's a, that's a team right there. I want that for me. Lord, I've seen what you've done for others. I want it for myself, okay? We want this. We want this. Now, straight up, I think Seahorse might be on his way out. But we got to think about it. May Rooster could be on his way out. But just for now, I'm going to focus on buffing the Peacock. I think that's where we get peak value. We wouldn't mind seeing a croissant on this leech as well. But the leech is mostly there just to make the peacock go sicko mode. Keep in mind, lollipops, very advantageous here. I do love... Like, it, the thing is... We're like two for one -ing. Don't. Don't. Let's go. We're two for one -ing. With the iguana? Well, no, we're one for oneing at a minimum with the iguana. If the iguana is able to get a kill, we will soon reach the point where the iguana is unlikely to get a kill. Round eight. Sell me? I know, I know. It's, it's a bold play. But to get a, a level two rooster out there... I think it's worth it. Now, the peacock absolutely needs a lollipop immediately. It's it's priority number one. Don't make me lose. Please, don't make me lose to this team. I can't handle it. <laughs> I'll, I'll settle for a win, sure. I was going to say I'll settle for a draw, but I can't lose to a lobster and then sleep soundly at night. The iguana's got to go. It, it served its purpose. Now's the time. We would love to make our rooster better. Let's sell. I'm going insane. Now we need to buy two units. How about a snake? We look for a lollipop. No lollipop. I'm a simple man. A snake behind the rooster. And then a leopard, honestly, like at the at the back to keep our peacock closer to the front. We we need a lollipop for this peacock. I think this can do something though. Okay, let's see. How, how right, how wrong am I? Good, good start, I think, maybe. Acceptable start. Great start. 
Not great enough. Cause because we need that lollipop immediately. Okay, are we on lethal? We are on lethal, but this team has got some gas. You need to come up a level. Forget the adder. For or the the leech. Forget the peacock. Lollipop is the only thing that matters here. And then you know what? When in doubt, honey me. Trust me, I'm not Triceratops blind. I'm I made a decision with the Triceratops. My decision for now is that the, the peacock strat is more sensible. This was an unfortunate distribution for us. Right, right. That right. Now that I think about it, that makes a lot of sense. Probably should have figured that out a little earlier. But you know what? We're blessed. We we remain relatively unpunished for that mistake. We obviously have to move that a little further back in the queue. Rather than... Are you going to stick, though? That's the thing. I don't think you're going to stick, so I'm not investing in you. I think... Well, I guess what I'm saying is I think we can do better. You got to get something, though. <laughs> okay, you're gone. All this just to create, like, this idiot play right here that... I don't even think is very good at all, but that's okay. The rooster, honestly, one of the one of the things I learned from uh, playing a few versus matches when Malf was streaming them, rooster is the king of the super late game. Um, this seems horrendous for us. The longer a match goes on, the more useful your rooster will become. Am I crazy to think that this is amazing for us? Even the most expertly crafted team can't beat our peacock leech situation. Now you... Oh. Ooh. We have a problem. I think now the squad has to go like that. <laughs> do we really want a peacock up at the front? Actually, to be honest with you, we probably do want a peacock up at the front. Um... Because then we don't, if, if we run into like a super strong elephant, it doesn't get to do a bunch of attacks for free. You know, we, we kill it a little faster. Maybe I'm fighting the last war. Could be argued that I might be fighting the last war. That was still, no, no, the genius strategy. Okay, hold on though, hold on though. We're still popping. Whatever, you got death touch, we're still popping. That, that boar almost... It almost sent me to the stratosphere of anger. I can't believe we're only on seven. Holy cow. So save the lollipop for now. It's not our play. It's not our fight. We need one more, then we can lollipop. But honestly, for now, I'm willing to bet that we have another lollipop coming. I don't want to shuffle everybody's attack and defense. I need something more than that. Without any other viable options, give me a leech that has a stake. Rooster gets a little stronger every turn. It's already a level three. Peacock is in prime sicko mode territory. One more lollipop, then we can sell our leech. Although we did... This is exactly what we wanted to have happen, I think. Because now, we kill the elephant in one shot, and then it's time to party. The partying has begun. It's still happening. Dude, the, you cannot sleep on the rooster. The longer a game goes on, the the we should have gone for two level three roosters, honestly, is, is what I'm realizing with this squad. Leave the cow for now. Who cares? Pizza, who cares? I know I've lost my mind. You think I don't know that? We didn't get a lollipop, just take some HP instead. I know what I am, and I know what I must do. I know what I must... <clears throat> I know what I must do. Hold on, am I doing it? He's actually doing it? I can't believe this level 1 snake has gotten us here, too. Rooster's so good. You don't need a 1-up, though. I mean, a lemon instead of... Uh, uh, garlic would be good, but that's the most important thing. Honestly, I mean, you knew this was coming. As funny as this is, you got to end with a cow on your team. It's the only thing that makes sense. 
We would like a level two snake. And in, in the rare event that we draw, because we could lose, I'm not saying we're definitely going to win, but in the rare event that we draw, we would love to have a level two snake here. This seems like the kind of team that could counter us pretty hard. Yes. <laughs> it's a fair assessment. <laughs> we weren't off by much, but dude, that was a great March to Nine wins there. And we've been, well, I was going to say we've been doing it with Le without Leech Peacock, but that's literally just like a, a complete lie. Like, I, that was Leech Peacock. <laughs> okay, this is a horrible team, but at least 3 HP plus a Moth gives you a chance. We'll be a milky swimmer. What does it make you think of? You're sick! Let's just, I was just going to say, let's just hope they don't have a, a Moth their own. But they do have a moth of their own, but they only took two units for some reason. A little strange. Um, if you have to, sure. I think two iguanas. But I was just going to say, two iguanas really makes me want a seahorse. So more than anything else, it's not the best use of funds, but I think it sets us up better for the next round. Seahorse gives us a chance to kill one unit, which in an early game is, is situation is extremely valuable. I would like to say that I think we should actually get to kill the unit that got shuffled on the backside as well, because that unit moved. They moved because something else forced them to move, but they moved. So I think that, as far as I'm concerned, teacher, that should be worth at least a half mark. Okay, now I can't believe I'm doing this, but we are going to take an Emperor Tamarin. And you know what? Let's embarrass some fools. For now, I think we want... Like, Kwasan on Tamarin, I just don't see it, man. Just because it creates a situation where you get it, you pay three gold to give 0 0.5 HP attack per turn at, at its current level to a, another unit later. I just have a hard time seeing that, like, play out in a, in a good way for us. I think you just take it because it's like a, a good moth receiver, and then you just see how that plays out, okay? Now, I would, I would add another Moth. I would also consider adding another Iguana right now. Really, the dream would be to have one more Seahorse here, but that's it's okay. Two wins in, in three rounds so far. Like, there's, there's some positivity for us moving forward. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it all that much. We may, we may win this one. We may definitely win this one. I would love to see a level 3 moth. I mean, it's nothing against it. I had another iguana. I don't see a leech sans peacock doing anything for us. Not that interested. Very interested. This is a gimme. You have to sell something. I hate that it's not even going to go to buff the bison, but... <laughs> Whatever it is, what it is. For now, until the bison pops, you're going to put the iguana at the front because it's just a better receiver of that first buff. So the bison is a great scaler for us. We, we, oh, I screwed up your turtle. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. We're going to... I'm going to win. I had no confidence that was going to happen. But our, our bison can obviously go off. For now, sure, take some garlic. You're going to scale 2-2, two, two, so you should probably be at the front again. Why not? I, just, I simply don't respect it. But given the circumstances, I'll take one of these. I do think a kangaroo probably goes a little harder. Feel free to screenshot, but the mole is, you know, it's like a targeted salad that you get a little refund on next turn. They got a strong iguana. You know what? That gives me an idea. My idea is to steal their idea and take a strong iguana. Because it could have, like, killed their bus in one hit, right? If the iguana had a, a pineapple on it? Okay. How about one of these? You're obviously gone. I think you could probably come out here. Lynx has been fun, too, huh? Is it time to start pivoting off of this Iguana squad? I mean, the Seahorse is just not doing it for us. Not that interested. I'm buffing my deer like a fool. Not smart. You're killing... No, you're not killing me. Never mind. Oh, we're totally fine. 
We could run the deer further back if we if we have to. What is it? It's getting it's doing ten attack. It's way better to just set it up like this. And if you get sniped, you get sniped. Look, I'm sorry, Iguana. You you served your purpose and now you're gone. And you know what's messed up is that that's completely fine. We really don't need a Lynx to level up, but it's kind of funny at the very least. It's kind of an interesting way to play the game. How about a turkey into some tamarinds? You buy the turkey, the tamarinds then become stronger when you summon them. They sell better. Holy cow, I didn't even think about like pineapple uh, woodpecker. That actually, it seems like the most logical buff for a woodpecker and I never even considered it. We gotta leave that top of mind. It's huge, it's insane, it's huge. I can't sell my level three. I can't take a lioness. It just it just doesn't fit, and I wish it did. I, I, I wish it did. It's really hard for me to not just sell you and buy you back as a 4-6, even though it puts us one experience back. I know how this sounds. 5-7, <laughs> sorry. It's, it's actually even better this way. I think that's worth it. As bizarre as that looked, I think that actually makes sense. Now, it would be nice to have a level 2 uh, bus out there. Is it that big of a deal? It is, unfortunately. We, you know, it probably would have made the difference there, but I think we're going to get there anyway. What did I say? What did I say to you? I said I think we're going to get there anyway. For now... Why don't you take on a little extra croissant just because it's the most gold efficient thing for us to do? Okay, now the problem is none of our units are any good. In battle, at least. They're only good... Well, actually, our, our buffalo is fine, of course, but we really need to just win fast because we have no scaling at all. The turkey isn't even really like a part of the team. I mean, I, I do like the idea. You buy this, it becomes a 10, 12, which is actually a 15, 18. That's pretty good. On the other hand, the Lynx has been doing great. Obviously, we're not selling our Buffalo. Maybe we got an okay thing going on here, and all we're going to do by complicating it is increase our odds of like getting our ass beat, you know? Past turn. Now I'm giving the Lynx all this extra attack for no reason. He already has a stake. And he, and he freaking had the audacity to die after everything we've been through. You're so lucky. You don't even know how lucky. That's what's so messed up. Never mind. We won. Okay. So that takes us to nine. What a strange team. What a long, strange team it's been. I want to level the buffalo, ideally. Ideally? You know what? Makes perfect sense. Little late game pivot. I do want a lemon on our buffalo. I mean, I, I think this is one of those situations where like when it rains, it pours. Like when we go down, we're going way down. That seems suboptimal. Or, oh, we could have done it. We could have drawn at least. Okay, you take one of these. <clears throat> I wish. You take one of these. This is like the only way we stand a chance to continue scaling as the game goes onwards. Forget about anything that's not HP. Forget everything you thought you knew about things that were not HP. Don't snipe me this time. Two strong units. No doubt about that. At least we took the turkey out. It's something. It's not enough! <laughs> please, please. We've come so far. To stall me at nine. On this, my run of need. For now, by the way, I think you gotta move back one. You gotta, you gotta soak up the buff. We're not... The turkey's not leveling up. Come on, man. Double damage once. Two linksin. Okay. We start with the pizza... We're never going to get a level 3 buffalo when we're on lethal and also victory lethal. If we draw, we could get a level 3. Saved. Maybe. 
This seems horrible for us. This, it seems truly horrendous. Because they're going to summon like a bunch of extra units as a result of this. It's my nightmare incarnate. Well, I had a great time. Well, you know what we learned? Iguanas only get three wins. When you start with, the, or nine wins. When you start with iguanas, you only get nine wins. I had a great time nonetheless. Hope you did as well. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Back on top. I'll see you next time. See ya.